All right, well, let's talk about the curious case, Herc, of Tanner Tessman, because, oh, my days. Strapping, guys, because it is quite the story. He went from being such a hot commodity in the city of Bear with Valencia FC, and now it seems like he has fallen massively out of favor, especially with deals to either go to Inter or Fiorentina falling flat, and now he finds himself in a bit of a tricky situation uh, there, Herc, so much so that... He's kind of blacklisted, and we have some quotes from the sporting director of Venezia. And ooh, let me tell you, they are spicy. He says, look, Tessman is out of our project at Venezia, plain and simple. It has been a difficult week. Try to understand me here. I'm above all sorry for the player as he put himself into this situation. At this moment, he's off the list of players at the disposal of the coach, Eusebio Di Francesco, but that is his decision and does not depend on us. He went on to say he continues to train with the rest of the squad, but his mind at this moment is just not there. We prefer to have players who are strongly motivated to play with a Venezia jersey and are fully committed to our project. Otherwise, it's better to get someone else. Well, Tanner definitely does not have to worry about where he stands there because it is plain and clear, Herc. Uh, what's the deal here? How did this all go so sour? I smell something rotten. Mm -hmm. I smell something off here, and and I could see people online. I could see people commenting about this, commenting about this, and they're placing a lot of blame on Tanner Tessman, his camp, his agents. I don't know who reps him. I don't. I know Tanner mm -hmm. Tessman. I know the situation he had at Venezia, and who he was for that team in Serie A. A very important player, a player mm -hmm. who was a great two-way player in that midfield who was scoring goals in their promotion playoffs in Serie A and garnered the interest, her reports, okay? Interest, her reports of Inter Milan. Yes, that Inter Milan. Of Fiorentina. Yes, that Fiorentina. But, but guess what? We don't know the inner workings of the offers that were or were not made. All we know here is there, there's a player who seems to be coming to an end of his contract soon and it smells to me like this sporting director, this team, would rather sell him, force a sell, than lose him for free. And because they can't force the sell, because they need permission from the player, they're getting frustrated that they may lose this player for free. So they'd rather make him look bad, ice him out, and here we are. And for the better, or the most part, I should say, it's working. Perception seems to be shifting blame on Tessman and his camp, where there's been no proof that that blame should be there. It's just this sporting director saying it's on him, on his people. We'll feel bad for him. He doesn't do what we say. He is out of our program for not doing it our way. Something smells off here. I, I really like my spidey senses are going on. I've seen this movie a thousand times. This screams to me like it's a club trying to force the issue and the player and maybe his camp not abiding by that issue. Now, we know that Venezia also have uh, a very delicate financial situation, that they were just uh, a hairline away from bankruptcy. They even credited Drake, as we talked about the other day, from helping them get out of that with his new kit deal there. So do you feel like Tanner's almost being used as a bit of a scapegoat here? It does. It does seem like that. And I've listen, I've been in that situation where you're one of the big contracts and you're the one of the people that can be sold. I was in a situation when I was in Mexico. I won't name the club, but they name sat me them, down. Name them, shame them. But they sat me down <laughs> and, and literally said, hey, uh, this time tomorrow you have a meeting in this city with this team. We'll fly you out, miss practice, uh, but we need to sell you. And when I go out and meet that team and I come back, no, I'm good. I want to stay here. What they did is they told my teammates that they would not get paid unless I was sold. And my teammates were like, hey, do what you want. We're just letting you know what they told us. So these things to pressure the player happen. They happen all the time. Uh, it's not always as clear, uh, cut and dry as it seems. And I could see a situation where Tanner Tessman is being made as a scapegoat, a scapegoat here. Excuse me. Quickly before we just move on, just an interesting quote as well from Filippo Antonelli, who is Venezia's sporting director. He says that it's not 100% over for him there at Venezia. He said, though, he would have to, quote, roll up his sleeves and get back with a completely different attitude to still be considered as a Venezia player. At the moment, uh, it's looking like he might just have to grin and bear it, Herc. But look, he's a young player, impressionable player, 
Uh, what would you even advise him to do in this situation? Yeah, you know what that screams to me? And listen, I don't know the details, my personal opinion, but this whole new attitude is re-sign an extension so we don't lose you for free. I, mm. th th I, Spidey senses are clint tingling. This is this has happened before to people that I know. I don't know the inner workings. My personal opinion of what I see from afar. I think this is what's going on here.